And you know, if it is, well, please, God send those people to come and heal our people who feel the pain. Um, there are three marae on Pirihake, and we all practice tikanga Māori in, in, a, in a different way. Um, and we think we're the best. <laughs> we think we've, all, we've got it all together. We think we've got trained people, and we think that we've got uh, the right tikanga, the right kawa, and we know that at the end of the day, we have to start somewhere, and we've been privileged to have um, Tonga's Nana, which we'll show you later, um, to be part of those women who actually have led us into holding on to our tikanga and kawa at Tuniho Meeting House. Every month on the 18th, we have this day, and it's to commemorate Te Whiti Oro Mai, and we have it at this meeting at our, our meeting house at Tanehu Te Atewa. And we've been holding it there for 17 years. And prior to that, um, it had been there for probably 100 years before that. So the day, this 18th, has been going on now for 130, so it's 138th year, which is a very, very long time. And that tells you how in some way that we're so connected to the philosophy and the legacy of Te Whiti and Tohu. I do say though that we're, we're in a position of um, difference and Te Whiti's people follow Te Whiti and Tohu's people follow Tohu. <laughs> quite a logical process. But living on Pariahaka does make it a little bit difficult for us as we go through with the reconciliation process. And we're experiencing some difficulty, but we know that um, consistency with following the legacy of Te Whiti will actually get us there. And hopefully in a shorter time than most people plan. So we've been working with the reconciliation for something like five years now. And on the 9th of November, we had the Puanga, Puanga Hayata, um, which is reference to a, a new dawning. And as we move forward into this reconciliation process, we can only but um, pray that what we do is the right thing for Pariaka, because we don't know what the model is. And uh, we have asked several people to contribute to looking at a model for reconciliation at Pariaka. And the best today is still Cardinal Hiki the Cardinal here, which is face to face. And I put Rongo Marairo there because it's really important that we understand when we're talking about peace and justice that we in Te Ao Māori have an atua, and that atua is Rongo Marairo and Rongo Matari. Talk will explain that further on. I want to remind us that we've got some real strong women. And this lady here was my guide, and my judge, my teacher, and my everything when I went to live at Parihaka. I don't know if any of you know this woman, Matarina Rau Kupa. Did you? Matarina Rau Kupa. I saw her in 70 years ago. Ah. I don't say I knew her. <coughs> so she, she is actually the great granddaughter of um, 